demand is this and supply is this if government imposes specific tax what will be new price acha there are two ways to solve it i will solve few questions by method 1 and few by method 2 so method 1 is when you impose tax on producer so imposing tax on producer means in the supply curve the net price received by producer will decrease so i will have quantity demanded as 300 minus 5p quantity supplied as 200 plus 15 and instead of this p i will write p minus 2 so we will write p minus 2 so we will get 300 minus 5p Is equal to two hundred plus fifteen p minus thirty. So I will get hundred plus thirty is equal to twenty p. One thirty is equal to twenty p. P is equal to one thirty divided by twenty. Right. So this will be six point five. This will be your answer. If I put the tax on the side of the producer then diagrammatically i am here this is my supply demand i've put a tax on the supplier so the supply curve has shifted backwards this is my new price that i have determined this is always the price in market always so therefore this answer is 6.5 suppose it i would have gone ahead and i would have instead put a tax on the consumer suppose so because of tax consumer will pay more price so whatever price consumer is paying till now now i will add two more to it because tax has to be also paid on that good so if i charge a tax on the consumer supposedly then i will do this that okay quantity demanded will now be 300 minus 5 p plus 2 because i will add 2 in this price and quantity supplied will be 200 plus 15 p only so quantity supplied will be 200 minus 50, uh, plus 15 demand has to be equal to supply so 300 minus 5p minus 10 is equal to 200 plus 15p so 110 will be 20p and p will be 5.5 no 90 will be 20p p will be 4.5 this is p but this is not your equilibrium why because diagrammatically i have done this this is my supply curve this is my demand curve my some my demand is what i am shifting my demand or the consumer is what is shifting downwards so this is my new demand curve so my equilibrium is by intersection of demand and supply right this is what i did i intersected demand to supply so this new intersection is coming here this is 4.5 but this intersection only gives me what is the net price net of taxes to get back the price that the consumer will pay you will because consumer paid p plus 2 right so this is p so always equilibrium in market will be 4.5 plus tax so you go back and whatever this gap is between the two demand curves this is 2 and if you add this back you get 6.5 so just remember this 
if you are doing both the methods are correct but you have to learn how to solve if you are finding equilibrium by reducing the demand it is going to give you a lower value the market is always after what the tax has been imposed so this is the net price this is p my equilibrium in this case was p plus 2 so i add back that 2 and get 6.5 because a lot of students forget to add back the tax i always tell them to impose a tax on the supplier in which case you will subtract 2 from the supply side in that case the net price is already found out this is where the two are intersecting ha the supplier is receiving here that's fine but this is what my equilibrium intersection is so either method but you have to be careful what you are doing 